the stage. All the way from North Korea. <laughs> from Nigeria. West Africa. Friend and brother. The one. The winner shot. of Big Brother Nigeria. The only. Hey. Give it up for. Kevin! I don't have time, I don't have time. Habari za leo. Jina lako ni Kevin Pam, anatoka Nigeria. Mimi leo anaongea Kiswahili bas. Ndio? Aha, so mimi naenda sukoni jana. My data has finished. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, man. God bless you, bro. He said he was going to come through, and he did. Boss, how are you? You said you make dreams come true. I've been looking at you. You've been making dreams come true first. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have my brother from West Africa in the house. Some of you know him. Some of you don't know him. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen, as I introduce to you the finest from the West, Mr. Van Vika! He's right there. Wave your hands, bro. Come on, that mask. Let them see your face. Let them know. How many of you know Van Vika? If you know Van Vika, make some noise. Yeah. Even we don't know that. Hey, hold on, DJ. Hold on. You don't know that fine Ghanaian actor. That very fine boy. That very, very fine boy. He's the one. Van Vika, I beg. Come. I beg. I beg. Help me. Help my performance today. Hey, make some noise. Make some noise. Make some noise to Van Vika. Ladies and gentlemen, this way, this way. This guy is so fine. He has kissed all the female celebrities, you know. In the, in the name of acting movie. Really? Van Vika. Fine boy. Who say West Africans are not fine? Who say West Africans are not fine? Who say West Africans are not fine? I want you to just say something. You know how smooth you can talk? You know what I'm saying? Let them know that it's you in flesh and blood. Wow. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much, boss. Thank you very much, boss. So you see, you see, he, he, he came to do a project in Tanzania. And um, I did a short video with him yesterday. Hey, all the girls that never used to say hi to me started saying hi to me. Inbox, he's in Tanzania. Oh my God, oh my God. Hey. They say what a man can do, a woman, a, a, a woman can do more. The only thing a man can do better than a woman is to pee first in a bottle. Give them a bottle first to fill it, it's a man that will fill it. But any other thing, women, a lady just DMs me from nowhere. I want him. I didn't tell you this was. She just said, I want him. The humor in me, I wanted to reply her, he doesn't do junk. <laughs> Somebody that has kissed Genevieve, what are you talking? He has kissed all the top stars, all the girls that people are dying for. He has kissed them in the name of acting movie. This kind of guy, you collect your girlfriend and you'll be proud of yourself. <laughs> for losing your girlfriend to a fine boy like that. You'll be the one announcing, do you know Van Vika? He took my girlfriend, oh. <laughs> Once upon a time, Ghanaians were the ones that were everywhere, not Nigerians. Do you know that? Once upon a time. Ghanaians were everywhere, gatesmen, teachers, and they were very wicked teachers. My math teacher was very wicked. He would tell you, in fact, if you fail 12 times 12, the beating you will collect. That's why we have that duffel bag called Ghana must go. It means Ghanaians must go. But Nigerians, you know us, when we take something, we take everything. We took Pili Pili from the Indians, now they are on his play. We even make cake with pepper. Pepper cake. Go to Afghanistan now. There are Nigerians there. Some people will say, I'm not going anywhere. My business is here. You will see, hey, Taliban water. Taliban water for sale. Nigerians are selling everything. <laughs> for those of you that have been coming to the show, don't I look a bit trimmed? Yeah. yeah. I've been working on my weight, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Watching what I eat, when I eat. But then I realized that there's no point. Because I've never seen a ghost with six packs. <laughs> I think the fatter you are, the floater you become. <laughs> so all of you
you that are feeling like you are fit. When we die, you just see me floating because I'm fat. Oh, yo, yo, you are, you are slim on earth. Look at me now. <laughs> because I believe there's a part of the body that refused to obey God. If not, why will only the stomach be growing by itself? God made the stomach flat. On his own, it will just start protruding. Did God plan it? I don't know. We had a dog. Talking about stomach, we had a dog that came from the village. I'm not lying. Let me clear that one. Those of you that like. So they brought this dog from the village, yeah? So, you know village dogs, they're not used to eating. They eat ugali, just all the ugali and salt. This dog, we gave him rice and beans. With chicken bones, this dog was eating. You know when these local dogs, they eat, and you want to even pull the plate, you go, ah, ah. That dog was greedy. It was eating and eating and eating and eating. My dad was like, feed it, feed it, let it eat. You want it to grow. This dog was eating till it was spreading, spreading, <laughs> spreading. The stomach was round like this. It was spreading. It spread to the ground like this, and it was still eating from the plates. In my family house, we left the dog there with food. We came back in the morning. The dog died. He died, he ate to death. This was how we carried the dog and buried it. If there was a hell for animals, that dog would be in hell. Sadiki, they have my height. My height. Excuse me, Kamanzi. Kamanzi. Excuse me, can that girl beside you please stand up? Excuse me, can you just stand up? Stand where you are so that people here can see you. No, not you. The other one, the other one, that one. That one, please stand up. Yes, let us stand up, please. I just have two more minutes, so see how tall this girl is. Stand up, please. Just stand up. Hey, hey. do you know what we call those kind of girls? World Trade Center, and I am Osama bin Laden. You're talking about King Yoka. You people that have not seen King of Car, there was this guy that had his 4x4, Prado. You know those 4x4s that they write 4 times 4? Anywhere he parks, there's one madman that will just look at the 4x4 and come and write equals to 8. <laughs> ah, the guy will worry. Hey, please come, stand. Come. My problem with this kind of girls is that I cannot explore all the sex positions with her. <laughs> if this girl does like this, her ass will be on my shoulder, like, yeah, oh, yeah. So that she want me to give her head from behind. <laughs> <laughs> so four by four equals to eight. You wake up, you come back, you see equals to eight, you go and paint it. The next day, the madman will see it, ah, this guy is not learning. Equals to eight. So now this man said, okay, just to rest. He decided to go and paint four by four equals to eight. Four by, okay, 16, sorry. <laughs> I failed mass now, what is it? It's a joke, it's a joke, must I get it correct? <laughs> These are the kind of people that you are building, they are counting your blocks. One, two, he has put six. Ah, ah, wait a minute, 16, okay, four by four. I thought it's four plus four, four by four equals to 16. I'll be, you have to finish the joke for me. Four equals to 16. The guy went to write four by four equals to 16. So when the madman saw it, it was like, now the guy has learned. Then he came and, good. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's always a pleasure making you guys laugh. It's always hard to say goodbye to you people. Where am I going? I know we do home delivery, home service. So if you want, <laughs> you can take my number and call me. I can come on. You can call me when you're sad. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. I gotta go now. God bless you. I love you. I love. One more time for Kevin Swan. Cheer, ah. cheer. Ah. Hey. Nice boys. Jama, Mona Jama. I'm a good job on one guest and this other sentence. I think anything that I said to the people to Angusha. No, no, Vanessa Kayenda, Tayari. Brother Kaja to Ladies. To remove underwear is really hard under these circumstances. Who toys you need if you had to talk as you need.
Yo, Van Vika, peace and love. My brother, when you are leaving at the airport, we'll search your bags for our women. <laughs> Make you not carry up, go with you. <laughs>